we citizens, users, we also have uh, uh, our responsibility. Uh, water is not only used by corporates, but also provided by uh, civic authorities uh, all over the country, it's better in some places, not so well in some others. Uh, so the, the concept is optimal water management. Optimization is a key concept of management. Not maximizing, not minimizing, but you have to meet multiple objectives, uh, have enough water, quality water, frequently available, if possible on tap, but still within those requirements, it should be managed as well, as best as possible. That's the word optimum. Uh, and uh, every one of us, educated people, the elite, uh, the intelligentsia, uh, the activists, has to be a parivartak, a change agent in the community. So this is not something that we've done entirely by corporates or by governments. Uh, the uh, community, civil society, has been very much involved in it. And uh, those of us who are more sensitized and aware, concern about the water problem, uh, should play the role of change agents. And in turn, we will train and people will watch you and grow future change agents. So it needs a, a succeeding parampara of parivartaks. This problem will continue. Good practices will be forgotten, uh, neglected. It is a continuous reinvention, renewal, rejuvenation that we need to do. I have seen this in the quality field, productivity field. Uh, it is like uh, Sri Krishna saying, uh, how dharma deteriorates and you have to re-establish uh, so we have to do all these things with respect to water uh, and the, to the extent you're working in an industry uh, of course you can be an internal activist uh, uh, in a proper way effective way change agent with the management for uh, optimal water management raise the question create a debate bring in suggestions ideas from other companies experiences and uh, move them also towards uh, water management uh, management of change is not difficult is not easy there will be resistance at all times there will be people who attribute motives to you but i think the cause we are so convinced it is so important that you should deal with all these and uh, in a very pragmatic way bring about their change plan and not your change plan with the collective ownership. Uh, we, I think whatever much we do as individuals, groups, uh, NGOs like uh, Altrack, uh, government, it still will not be enough. We have to do, have an advocacy function uh, uh, and, and an active one with research, publication, meetings, conferences, agitation, peaceful, uh, satyagraha uh, for uh, optimal water management at all levels. I, I think not just local. Uh, for example, uh, water problem is not India's alone. Uh, it is a problem which we've been talking about 20 years now. Uh, water wars. China is already uh, taking a lot of water of the Himalayan Brahmaputra basin uh, and the countries of the South have to get together and collectively reason with China. India and Bangladesh have a good relationship on water sharing. That model should be multiplied. So local, national and global governments. The COP28 coming up in uh, uh, Dubai, uh, like the previous ones, has to look at all these issues, uh, the climate funding, uh, climate compensation. One element of this is water. Uh, water management, water restoration. 